Hey, good people, welcome to another edition of This Brother Can't Fly. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Okay, so now, before I jump into my next video, I have to give my subscriber shout out. My subscriber shout out goes to Original Music 1978, AKA Pretty J. What's up, family? Hey, man, listen, thank you for all the positive comments back. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and all support. You've always been a positive brother. I really appreciate, you know, you dropping stuff down in the comments. And I thank you definitely for subscribing. So my man, Original Music 1978, AKA Pretty J, is my subscriber shout out. Thank you, family. All right, let's get on with the video. <laughs> anyway, listen, I already admit that this video is gonna be much different than my other videos. Out of a spirit of transparency, I always want to show you everything about this journey. And because you, the viewers, are the most important aspect of this whole journey, uh, and you know, in terms of the YouTube factor, I want to make sure I respond to some of the requests that I get uh, periodically as I'm on this journey. And so, one of the requests I got that was really, really interesting was an interesting question was, Hey, Russ. How much is this costing you? What are the expenses? How much money have you had to spend in order to do what you're doing? And how much do you think it's gonna be in the future? Now, it's hard to predict future costs because you never know what kind of plane and that kind of stuff. But I can tell you what I've actually outlaid, you know, in total amount. And then I'll break it down in terms of what each aspect of the training has cost me, including the flight lessons, the gas, the rental for the plane, what it costs to have my certified flight instructor, and any equipment or books I've purchased thus far. So let me go ahead and break it down for you. Now, it's not that I'm usually this organized, but believe it or not, I actually managed to keep all of my invoices from the time I started this whole thing in August until now. So I was able to write all my expenses down and the total amount that I spent. But I wanna take you through each of the components so you know what these things cost. So if you're interested in being uh, a student pilot yourself, you'll have some idea of what you may have to spend based on what I have. Now, here's the one thing I will say before I jump into this list of expenses. When you hear the amounts that I spend on some of these things, remember, it's gonna be different for you. You might be in a different region. There's different ways you can buy time. There's different ways you can buy equipment. You don't have to buy new stuff, all of that kind of thing. Um, so I don't want you to be like taken aback from the standpoint that, oh my gosh, he spent that, I can't afford it. Listen, you can figure this out. If you wanna become a pilot, please, please, do not let the financial aspect of it deter you from doing it. Um, if you really have a passion for this, uh, there are definitely ways around some of the expenses. So I'm hoping by sharing what I've spent, I don't, you know, have anybody say to themselves, oh, there's no way I can afford this and decide not to do this journey. So please don't do that. I will say that for some of the stuff that I've bought and some of the expenses that I've had, I will say that there is times where I thought, mm, do I really want to spend that much? And I say, yeah, because I want to be a good pilot. I want to have good equipment. I want to have a good experience. And at the back end, I want to be safe, especially if I come out to your city and you're one of my subscribers that I come out and you're willing to fly with me. <laughs> so at any rate, let's jump into this um, list of expenses. So believe it or not, the first thing on my list that I wrote down here um, in terms of my costs and the most expensive thing that I've bought thus far are my headphones. All right, so these are my headphones. Now, I decided to go with a company called Lightspeed. And um, 
These headphones are called the Lightspeed Zulu. And there's a couple reasons why I decided to go with this company and this set of headphones. Um, and I'll explain to you why as I open the case. But one of the big selling features for me right off the bat was this hard case. Um, I knew that, you know, I'm not used to using headphones and stuff. So I was worried about dropping this or throwing this in the plane. And the fact that this headset has a hard case was a big selling point for me. But let me show you what's inside and why I chose these headphones and how much they cost. So inside the case, um, you see these are the headphones. And one of the, you know, in, in addition to the hard case uh, that I mentioned before, the biggest selling point for me was this right here. Um, so when you plug your headphones in, you plug them into uh, the airplane and then uh, you have these, you know, two size plugs and they go in. Um, and then you, you know, you put the headphones on your head and I'll, you know, show you what that looks like when you put them on. Um, but you have this cord that runs basically from the plane uh, to your headphones on your head. And uh, these, uh, headphones actually have noise cancellation as well. Um, you press this button and if you see there's a green light that comes on and basically the noise cancellation function is just amazing. I mean, it really just takes out all of that prop noise and wind noise and all that kind of stuff. So I liked the way the wind canceling function and this braided cord is just so tough. I know that I'm gonna be rough on these things because it's my first pair of headphones. Um, and so I like this braided cord and these ear, um, the, the, the place where your ears go in, I mean, it is just super soft um, and they're just a great quality headphone. So this is the most expensive thing that I bought. I mean, please don't gas, but these headphones cost me $850. Now, no, did I have to spend $850 on a pair of headphones? No, I mean, these Lightspeed Zulu 3s um, is, are basically the top of the Zulu uh, headphone food chain. I like the way um, Lightspeed headphones felt, you know, on my head in terms of these pads. Um, there are, believe it or not, a more expensive pair of headphones, uh, the Bose A320s or something like that. Um, I think they're like 1200 bucks or something like that. But suffice to say, yes, I spent $850 for these headphones. And no, you do not have to spend that much on headphones. There are um, much more affordable sets of headphones. Um, I've seen ones for, you know, $300. You can get them on eBay for probably a couple hundred bucks. Um, there's, there's any un number of options, so you don't have to spend that much, but I, I wanted to make sure that I was committed to this thing. So I went out and ordered these, um, and they cost me $850. So that, that is my first expense. All right. So looking at my list, um, the second thing that I wanted to mention in terms of my cost is um, my medical evaluation. Now, if you haven't watched a previous video, um, I talked about going to get my medical certification uh, and I have a 24 month third class medical certification. Now, I don't know if there's different costs associated with the different classes because there is a first class, there's a second class and I have a third class and that's all I needed in order to do my private pilot certificate. And so that examination cost me $125. Um, and that wasn't something that I could, you know, use my insurance or anything like that. Um, that's something that had to come right out of my pocket because they have um, AMEs, I think they're aviation medical examiners. Um, and Many of them, I believe, or at least the one that I used, uh, he wanted basically a check or uh, you know credit card or basically payment. Did not take uh, my insurance, so that hundred twenty-five dollars 
you know, came out of my pocket. So that was my second expense. My next purchase was this Jeppesen uh, Private Pilot Guided Flight Discovery Book. Um, it goes soup to nuts. It is extremely comprehensive. Um, and this is something that I'm using for my ground school. Um, right now I'm working on airspace and you know, uh, what airspace you're in and that kind of stuff. So, but this book, um, I brought new, um, you don't have to buy books new. I would imagine everybody should buy some sort of materials in order to, you know, learn these different aspects of flying and studying, because at some point you have to take a written exam, uh, which I kind of have to, you know, make sure you're studying. So this is the book that I bought and this is what I use with my CFI, um, to train, uh, in ground school. Now that book that I purchased, it cost me a hundred dollars and nine cents. Uh, now again, you don't have to spend that. I spent a hundred dollars and nine cents because yeah, I was kind of dumb, um, and excited and just grabbing stuff. And so I purchased my book, um, at the actual flight school and I purchased it brand spanking new. But if you remember any of you guys who've gone to college or even if you just dot bought books, period, you don't have to buy a brand new book. You can buy used. So you can go on Amazon, uh, you can go on eBay. Um, and in fact, I've even seen some of these materials uh, downloaded on the web for free. So don't let this, you know, what I'm spending intimidate you. There are different ways around it. I just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and apparently just, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, as I want things, I get it, but just trying to show you what I spent. So for that book, I spent a hundred dollars and nine cents. So the cheapest thing, there is some good news is I have the cheapest thing on my list as next. Um, so that's entry number four. So when I first started flying, uh, you, when you fly, they give you a, a log book. And basically what this log book does is it logs your flights. And so, um, as you can see, here's my first, uh, two entries. Uh, one is a discovery flight and then one is my first, um, uh, uh, actual flight lesson. Um, eh, I just didn't like that this was paper. I was worried about it you know, getting torn, so. Um, and so in lieu of that, I bought this uh, standard pilot log book. It's just a little bit more robust. It's, you know, it's 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 a heavier cardboard. Um, the pages are a little thicker. Um, and you can see my log book is starting to get a little, little, little something, something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I know I'm tripping. Um, so I bought this pilot log book and that cost me $11.61. Yes, I know whopping, but you know, <laughs> something's gotta be cheap. At least that log book is. Okay, now we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty because now it's time to talk about the actual flight lessons. And I have to do a couple things in order for you to understand the expenses as it relates to actually taking a flying lesson. There are a couple different components to the cost of taking a flight lesson. There is the CFI or your certified flight and flight instructor hourly cost. There is your um, the, the 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 amount of gas that you have to pay and then there's something called the <laughs> airplane rental. So you're renting the plane. That's a per hour cost. You're burning gas. That's a per hour cost. And wait, do you hear what that is? I mean, it actually is kind of astronomical, but, um, but it actually works out. And then there's your flight instructor fee. So my first flight lesson breaks down like this. I had 0.6 hours of flight instruction. So that meant that I was actually in the plane with my CFI. That 0.6 hours at $69 per hour was $41.40. Ground school, 55.20. The gas, the gas costs 
49.50 per hour. Now, yes, as you get into other planes, you will be paying, you know, per gallon. I think it's like five gallons, I mean, $5 a gallon or $3 a gallon. The, the per gallon cost is going to differ depending on what airport you are landing in. And it, you know, it's just like any other state. You go to New Jersey, gas is one price because of the tax structure. Pennsylvania is a different price. So, Airplane gas is, is different that way too. Also, depending on if you get Jet A or if you get 100 low lead, it's gonna be different costs. But for when you're a student pilot and you're renting a plane and you're doing you know gas in the plane, they charge you per hour. So for that first lesson, my gas was uh, for that 0.6 of 49.50, I paid $29.70 for the gas. And then the rental is $91.75 for the airplane that I'm flying. It is a Cessna 172. It has a 180 horsepower engine. This airport that I'm flying out of Wings Field, for that plane, they charge $91.75 per hour so i just wanted to break that down for that first flight lesson so that you understood what went into the total cost of my first flight lesson which was so the total cost for my first flight lesson was 186 dollars and 16 cents so that 186 16 included the cost for my certified flight instructor the gas that I burned as I was flying the plane and the rental time for the airplane itself. So my first flight lesson, $186.16. The next thing on the list is my second flight lesson. So my second flight lesson taking all those three aspects into account, um, cause it was a straight two hours. My um, flight lesson, the second flight lesson, if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. But my second flight lesson cost $287.06. Then there's my third flight lesson. Um, <clears throat> that lesson was a little longer. It was 1.2 hours, um, both ground and flight. Um, and so that flight lesson cost me $316 and 59 cents, um, same, same criteria. And then the last flight lesson that the most recent video, my fourth flight lesson, um, same criteria, that um, lesson cost me $255.58. Now there's one last lesson that I have to throw in there and that was, I did one ground school lesson. Now, actually that's not completely accurate. I do two ground school lessons. The first one I did as a standalone cost me $90.60, but I forgot to mention that in the actual shooting of the video. So uh, that's the other ground school. So that ground school um, was $104.54. Okay, so based on all of that, my four flight lessons, my ground school lesson, um, and the materials that I've purchased thus far, my pilot log, my private pilot book, my headphones, that's all the expenses I've had so far. So, so far in this flight training, four months I've been at this, I've spent a grand total of $2,227.14. $2,227.14. There's different ways in which you can figure out how to do this a lot less expensive and a more economical way. It's still not cheap. Um, and education in any stretch of the imagination is not cheap anywhere, but you can figure out how to do this. So don't let these costs or that amount of money or how much things seem to cost and all that kind of stuff uh, be a deterrent for you doing this. If you wanna join this amazing, amazing 
um, community of general aviation enthusiasts uh, like myself, don't let cost or money be a, a detraction. All right. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm sorry this video wasn't exciting, but it was a subscriber request. And so because of that, I felt compelled to make it. All right. So with that, I'm going to get on out of here. Russ Kid signing off. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. I definitely appreciate it. And feel free, really, put comments down there. Ask me questions. Um, request different videos. Um, the, the, the sky's the limit. I want to make this as accessible as possible to people. Even if there's a small mustard seed chance that you may be interested in this, I want to make sure that your question or the aspect of what you're curious about gets covered. All right, I'm out. Have a good time, good life. God bless. See you next time.